Let's draw it for a second then at the front end. Yeah, it's almost come off. I think I've dressed up the drive shaft. No, I think it's fine. It looks fine. Who knows? So I get the diffs kicking out like the front end and not the back. Oh, oh. That's got carnage wheels at the front, so I think there. Oh, <laughs> that hit my foot. <laughs> Oh, that's the engine gone. We're all good still. I'm gonna have to stand here somewhere so just in case a car comes. Oh fucking van. Little video of the rocker tan after I had a little trouble with the uh, motor shaft. Very good stable car. Well, I think the ESC is cutting out because it was doing this with a 5000 kV motor, so I dropped it down to 300, 3000. Yeah, that's something slipping. Yo. No. Hey, uh, but I think I'm strip stripping a diff or it's a slipper. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's front wheel drive. <laughs> it's still rapid for a front wheel drive car. I don't I don't know what it is. So I'll keep losing drive to the rear end when I pin it. No, get out the road. No, it's just died. So it's... <laughs> well, FTX, you still don't amaze me. Yeah. Actually, it's died now. It's not a dead battery either, because I've just fully charged it. God damn it. Good old FTX. Rear diff's gone. Wait, it's not doing it now, look. So, yeah, that's all meshed properly. There's no bindage or anything like that. The rear diff is gone. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, good exercise, though, But now it's not doing it, so like that's very strange. And I thought one of these cables has come loose, but it hasn't. It's just that cheap ass motor that I've put in it. It's gone too hot. Yeah, that's how hot it is. <laughs> Sorry. 
user <laughs> aggression is advised. If that's how you say it properly. But no, yeah, I've cooked it. Very diff. Trying to take it apart. Again. But it's not really that bad, to be fair. All it is is all of these screws. I don't know what that one's there for. It's a rear diff. Rear diff's gone. What? It? <laughs> Naked, mate. It goes forward, backwards, we're not forward. Dead, gone. I think I've just blew the, the motor to prefer, because that motor was cocked. Well. Wow. Yeah, but you would have thought. fucking charging me I said, don't break it. <laughs> no, I'll let that motor. This is what, if when you have motors like this with big slots down it, don't buy them because you've got to think the motor's very small. Do you remember when I first broke my sorrows? Yeah. Oh, no. It didn't have a small dip, it was just a case, wasn't it? Mm. I'm, I'm hoping it's just the rear diff because it clicks a lot. It's slipping. But now it's not doing it, and I thought it was the gears, but it's not. The gears are perfectly, perfectly aligned. What the fuck? What is that? Oh. A big massive dumper lot, I think. <laughs> Coming this way? He's parking there. Mill, uh, Mill, Midlands Quarry Products. I can hear it. I can hear it, isn't it? I'll take it apart and give it a good old clean anyway. But, uh, take the diff out. I'll be in another video. So if you want to see that, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that stuff that everyone else says. Hopefully you get to see this in bits. So after leaving it to cool down, let me get rid of this black spot. Nope, can't get rid of that black spot. Sorry guys. Um, this is it. Oh, there you go. It's got to give it a push. That's it's rather the motor's gone. It'll go wing because that's that's indicating that there's a motor wire loose. Obviously, because when it well, it's moving now. But it's kicking out the front end. Yeah, now it's it's running in front wheel drive. Now it's just stopped. And it's rather the you see all the motors gone. And I definitely know that back diff's gone, mate, because I got carnage wheels on the front, they balloon. But they don't balloon as much when the front when the back wheels are spinning. You know, it's just cut out again. So We'll, uh, we're going to get back on it. I might go and do a video of taking it apart. But after owning this car, there's been a couple of niggly bits with it. And I wouldn't recommend it, really. It's a nice platform, but I don't recommend it. The FTX ain't got their shit together properly yet. So. Barry's like Kevin Tolbert. Get I am, yeah. He's <laughs> dickhead. I ain't like Kevin Tolbert. But how ironic is it, yeah? You, you, you met Max, so you're more like him. You probably just rubbed off on him, didn't you? Did he shake your hand? No. <laughs> you went near him, though, I forgot didn't you? to say hello to him, you know. You know what? His aura's just rubbed off on you, and you've just gone and broke a car within 48 hours of meeting him. <laughs> but the thing is, I broke these, right. I wanted to know how quick that was going, because that was going. Yeah, it was, it's quick. Yeah, it's easy. Well, because last time we got it to 45, I might put the original. You were cooking it. Yeah, well, the motor in it's dead, isn't it? You know, the so low and the motor's too high. Uh, well, to be fair, I'm pretty sure this is only like a three thousand. But I'm going to yeah, go and stick. What you do when you get a high kilovolt? No, a low, like say a two thousand, and you put it with like a forty or fifty. Yeah, they work quite well. Yeah. They're quite economical. They don't. You know what I mean? And you know, like you've got to get that. I mean, you've got to get that balance. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. All that. There's all that. There's the voltage, the ampage, and the kilovolts of the motor, isn't there? Feel that motor, though. You, you, you divide how many kilovolts by each voltage, something like there's a to get that right. The ESC's not too hot, so it's not. Oh, the motor is. 
always touch it at the back there because it's yeah. hot there because these fins aren't going to be as hot. As well, it's, it's a smaller motor, isn't it? Because obviously them fins are making the can, can smaller. So. I've got, I've got, I might as well put the original in, but I want top speed out of it. That's the problem because this only, it's a wheelie beast with the original motor in. So, well, anyway, that's good, good. that's good taking it apart.